Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today I'm going to show you how to run uh, persons product moment correlation using SPSS version 23. Interpret the results and write them in a report. So uh, we, you have to know about the assumptions of person uh, product moment correlation. So there are four assumptions first the variables should be uh, on continuous scale that is either interval or ratio at least you should have two variables that are paired which means that one subject has two observations you see and uh, the second thing uh, the distribution of the data should be normal and you can verify that this by using uh, the Shapiro work tests we want to explore and uh, choosing the Shapiro work test you are going to go back to other videos to see how I did that and how I interpreted the results and then you can even uh, see the linearity of the distribution by going to graphs, uh, chart builder, uh, scatter plot and then uh, listing the variables to see whether there is a linear relationship or not so uh, then we can proceed to the analysis so we, I'm going to go to analyze uh, correlate and then by variate so I'm going just to put this back so I'm going to select the variables that I want to correlate which are both uh, uh, on a scale measure and then I'm going to check person here in options you can add means and standard deviations if you want them and then continue and here we can check flag significant correlations to see the difference is uh, or the correlation is statistically, statistically significant so we click OK and we wait for the output so this is the output window so what interests us is this uh, correlation matrix so we are going to so this is variable one variable two and then we have person correlation six uh, two tailed and so the n refers to the sample so as you can see i have a small sample size uh, sig which means the p-value is 0 0.011 which is less than 0 0.05 therefore uh, it is significant and then this is the strength of the person correlation that is the uh, uh, the coefficient is like uh, 989 out of 1000 which means that this is very strong positive correlation uh, you, if it is zero you can find no correlation if it is negative uh, of a negative value it is a negative correlation so I'm going to copy and paste this uh, table to my report and just to show you how to write the results so I already have this pasted so I'm going to uh, say, for example, there is a strong positive correlation between variable and I put its name and the second variable and then put comma and write persons are that is regression is four and here I put the number of uh, the people or the or the sample or subjects in the sample and then uh, equals uh, 98.98 so here I put the strength of the correlation I put it here and f uh, comma p equals uh, m uh, less than uh, zero or less or equal to 0 0.05 uh, which means that uh, there is a statistical uh, significance in the correlation and by the way you have to remember that correlation does not imply causation so uh, variables are correlated but um, we cannot say that one causes the other so this is uh, I think this is uh, the whole story and if you have questions do not hesitate uh, do not hesitate to post them below and see you in another tutorial